Hey guys, welcome to this video. You know, one of my goals for 2017, we're already, geez, halfway through January, today is January 14th, is to create more YouTube content. And that means getting me in front of the camera, which is a place I do not like to be. But hopefully you'll bear with me and hopefully you'll get some value out of these videos. My goal is to do one of these every week. We'll see how that goes. My goal is to share uh, my favorite photo that I've taken each week and then maybe pick one from the community, from the Camera Stupid Facebook group uh, that kind of stood out for the week for me. So anyway, let's get started. I thought I would start uh, in this episode with this photo. And this was from a video and photo shoot uh, that this company, Silvercrest, it's a local concrete resurfacing and polishing company, Silvercrest Corp, hired me to come and do a video to promote their business and to help uh, build up their website and help people understand what it is that they do and also the scope of what they do. And so they hired me to shoot some video and some time lapse. This this job site that they were on was a large warehouse and they were resurfacing the entire concrete floor inside this warehouse. And so what that entails is driving these large machi machines back and forth across the floor and they're basically a large sander and it's sanding and uh, reducing the floor until it becomes nice and smooth and shiny. So it was almost uh, a two-week project for these guys, uh, for this crew. Uh, quite a big, quite a big project, and they wanted to showcase this particular project. And so for this, we we set up a couple time-lapse cameras. One of them I set up that I had running most of the time uh, is this little guy. This is a Brino or Brino. Not sure how you say that. Brino maybe. And this camera is really good at long-term time lapse. So if you were to set up your DSLR or a, a GoPro, you're not gonna get a lot of uh, battery life when you're taking a time lapse. You might be able to get an hour or two hours. Uh, but what this thing is, this is the TL, TLC 200 Pro from Brino. And it allows you to set this up and then it'll, it'll take a photo at whatever duration you want. And it'll last a really long time. So depending on the settings, they, they uh, advertise on their website that you can get uh, up to a month or even more uh, record time. It does come with a waterproof enclosure so you can put this outdoors and uh, get some really interesting really long-term time lapse. That's one thing that you don't see a lot of is is time lapses that stretch over uh, days or weeks or months at a time. Anyway so this is one of the first uh, paid projects that I've tried this out on and as you can see from the clips uh, the resolution is not the highest I think you get a 720 video and it doesn't save the stills out that you can access it saves them automatically into a video file so the downside is uh, not <laughs> the best resolution when we're talking about 4k cameras these days uh, but at 720p it's usable and passable and really the benefit is uh, the long-term aspect uh, looking back at the still shot that we got of the crew so I did bring a flash but for this shot there was enough light there in the warehouse that I didn't feel like I needed to strobe this group I don't know if you guys would like to see the settings we'll go and see if you go, I'm in Photoshop if you go to file and file info and camera data we can see shooting this with the Canon 5DS on the 16 to 35 uh, looks like I was shooting at 35 millimeter Exposure was 1 200 of a second at f2.8 and ISO was up a little bit higher uh, to deal with the lower light inside this warehouse at 640. Okay, one quick tip uh, for the finishing on this. Uh, new adjustment layer and color lookup. And think of these kind of like uh, Instagram filters, only more powerful. So in, in this 3D LUT file, uh, there's a whole bunch of presets here and these are presets for different looks but also for different film stocks and it's really interesting you have in here uh, some of my favorite film stocks one of them being this Kodak 5218 uh, and if you click on this you can see it just adds a certain color tone and you can quickly come in here and preview <laughs> some of them are really terrible uh, but you can preview some of these color stocks And my favorite is this this one, the Kodak 5218. Now because this is an adjustment layer, you can uh, go ahead and dial down the opacity if you want to weaken the effects of that filter. Uh, but just a quick little tip for the finishing on this. Again, this is one of my favorite photos of the week. It's, it's fun to work with a group of people. Uh, you know, I haven't worked with these guys for more than just a couple weeks coming to shoot and film. 
Uh, but getting to know them just a little bit and, and understanding what they do and how hard of workers these this crew really is. You'd be hard-pressed to find uh, a group of people that are as hard-working as these guys. Uh, driving these machines back and forth, very monotonous, very hard work. So really fun to be able to capture this portrait for them and hopefully they find this valuable. Okay, I also want to share a favorite photo from the Facebook group. And this week it's going to be a photo from Lindsay Alicia Banks. She says she's taken this with her Nikon uh, D3200 and looks like a kit lens, 18 to 55 millimeter. And she's used uh, one of Camera Stupid's presets, probably one from the black and white collection, I'm not sure, uh, to retouch this this image. Uh, this one just really uh, stood out to me this week. Just really loved the subject and the pose and the tone. Everything about this uh, is very nice. It looks like you got out into the cold, which is always a struggle in the winter uh, to, to get out there and shoot. But there's something about fur coats and about this fur hood, uh, especially in the black and white. I love this, uh, how the black and white fur coat texture really makes an interesting uh, photo. This close-up is really nice. Um, I love the texture and the strands of the hair coming down. It looks like you nailed the focus right on the eye. Looks really good. Great work, Lindsay. And that is my favorite photo of the week. Okay guys, I've got to go finish packing. Headed to Arizona tomorrow, a little bit warmer than here in Idaho, uh, for a, another shoot. But let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of this, and we'll try to do more of these, uh, hopefully on a weekly basis. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That helps out. Also, join us in the Camera Stupid Facebook group. We'd love to have you there. Love to see your photographs. Uh, there's a link in the description. So go ahead, please subscribe, share this video, and we'll see you guys next time.